Prime Minister has said that he will be giving a free hand uh, to the armed forces to resp respond in a manner that they deem fit. So apart from the obvious military responses as we've been talking about, what are the options uh, to make Pakistan pay for this deadly terror attack? Uh, uh, Lieutenant General Hussain touched upon some of those. We also spoke to a series of other experts uh, for their thoughts. And to begin with, well, India has vowed to isolate Pakistan internationally in this difficult time. The world powers have expressed their solidarity with India. The United States uh, NSA John Bolton has insisted that India deserves the right to defend itself. India can and should leverage the support extended by the international community. The U.S. Uh, under Donald Trump has suspended $1.66 billion of security to uh, Pakistan. And considering the dire financial straits Pakistan is in, hitting Pakistan financially is where it could hurt the most. The former Indian ambassador to the U.S., Arun Singh, is of the opinion that India should expose Pakistan's role in the Pulwama terror attack, the Financial Action Task Force, which has put Pakistan on the grey list for uh, terror financing, should be engaged to isolate Pakistan further. Besides this, India should question any international aid routed through the IMF for Pakistan's financial stability, as this cannot be offered to a country which encourages violence and terrorism as a matter of state policy. Secondly, India's response to Pulwama terror attack should be different from what it has been for, for the earlier uh, Pakistan-sponsored terror incidents after the terror attack on the Pathankot Air Base, India had invited Pakistan's joint investigating team uh, with the ISI members in it to investigate the Pathankot attack. After the 2-26-11 Mumbai attacks as well, India had given them dossier after dossier of evidence uh, to prosecute the perpetrators of the attack and to deal with Pakistan in such good faith is a mistake, it seems. Strategic affairs expert Brahma Chalani is of the opinion that India must downgrade its diplomatic relationship with Pakistan. It cannot be business as usual. We cannot expect to isolate Pakistan internationally if we ourselves do not change our diplomatic stand with Pakistan and describe it for what it is, a terror state. We should also suspend the permanent Indus Commission, which uh, in these circumstances will be legal as Pakistan has behaved as a rogue state. However, while well, the elephant in the room is of course China, uh, which is constantly backing Pakistan, Vivek Karju, India's former ambassador to Afghanistan, has said, and I quote here, India should not shy away from dealing with China directly on this. China has repeatedly obstructed the designation of Masood Azhar as a UN-designated global terrorist. The spirit of Wuhan is fine, but India should take up this issue with China uh, in the wake of what has happened now. Now, these are some of the options which India should ponder upon besides the four-point formula put forth uh, by the government after the top cabinet committee meeting on security. There have to be uh, other innovative ways which India will have to come up with to make Pakistan change its tune.